a new interstellar object just blasted into our solar system, moving nearly in line with the orbits of the planets, not like any cosmic visitor we've ever tracked. This is 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object, first spotted on July 1st, 2025. But here's what has scientists stunned. Its comet core is less than a kilometer wide, surrounded by a colossal carbon dioxide coma stretching twice the size of Earth, and its low inclination path means it will interact with our solar system far longer and more directly than any interstellar visitor before it. Could this October truly be the month something extraordinary happens? Let's see why experts and some wild theories are watching 3i slash Atlas closer than anything in years. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile caught an object moving against the star field. Too fast, too straight, and on a path that didn't fit any known comet or asteroid. The initial detection triggered a rapid cascade of alerts. Within hours, astronomers were checking old images, chasing the trail back to mid-June, and feeding coordinates into orbit calculators. It didn't take long for the Minor Planet Center to confirm what the numbers were saying. This was the third interstellar object ever spotted passing through our solar system. The official designation, 3i slash Atlas, breaks down simply the third interstellar found by Atlas. That number alone puts it in rare company. For perspective, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019 were the only two confirmed before it. Each discovery felt like a cosmic lottery win. Now, in less than a decade, three have been found. That's not just luck. It's a sign that our new generation of sky surveys, Atlas, Pan Stars, and soon the Vera Rubin Observatory are finally catching what's always been out there, moving fast and hidden in plain sight. The excitement in the Atlas control room that night was real. Slack messages and emails flew as the team realized the object's inbound speed was around 60 kilometers per second, far too high for anything bound to our sun. In just 48 hours, the world's astronomers pivoted from routine survey work to tracking an interstellar visitor, knowing that every hour of data would matter. This is the kind of moment that turns a telescope operator into a discoverer of the unknown. So let's look at the path 3i slash Atlas is actually taking. Most comets and asteroids swing through the solar system at steep angles, sometimes diving in from above or below the plane where the planets orbit. But 3i slash Atlas is different. Its orbit hugs the ecliptic, tilted only about five degrees from the flat disk where Earth, Mars, and Jupiter all travel. That means it's moving through the same crowded lane as the major planets, not just cutting across it. This low inclination path isn't just a geometric quirk. It's what allows the object to linger in the thick of our system's electromagnetic environment for weeks instead of just a quick pass. Now, when telescopes like Hubble and Gemini zoomed in, they caught something striking. The core, or nucleus, of 3i slash Atlas is small, less than a kilometer across, maybe only a few hundred meters. But around that tiny center, the coma, the cloud of gas and dust boiled off by sunlight, ballooned to a scale that dwarfs most solar system comets. At times, the coma stretched out to hundreds of thousands of kilometers, even twice the diameter of Earth. And it's not just size. Spectra show this coma is rich in carbon dioxide gas, far more than is typical. That's a chemical fingerprint seen in only the rarest solar system comets. So what we're looking at is a compact, fast-moving nucleus cloaked in a giant CO2-dominated cloud threading almost perfectly through the planetary plane. All of this sets up a unique stage for how it will interact with solar wind and magnetic fields as it gets closer to the sun. As 3i slash Atlas moves closer to the sun, its coma transforms from a cloud of dust and gas into a dynamic plasma environment. 
Sunlight and solar wind strip away molecules, mainly carbon dioxide, but also water and carbon monoxide, turning them into a mix of neutral gas, ions, and charged dust. This is what physicists call a dusty plasma, and it is not just a featureless haze. Inside, electric fields build up as grains and ions interact, setting off a chain reaction of filament formation, double layers, and sometimes even organized, almost crystalline patterns. These structures can reach thousands of kilometers in scale, shifting and reshaping as the solar wind fluctuates. In the lab, dusty plasmas self-organize into filaments and waves, sometimes in seconds. In space, the same physics plays out, but on a much grander stage. For 3i slash Atlas, the real twist is its path. Nearly aligned with the ecliptic, it is embedded in the sun's main electric and magnetic environment for weeks. That means it spends more time inside the heliospheric current sheet, the vast undulating surface where the sun's magnetic field flips polarity. Here, plasma tails can get yanked, twisted, or even snapped off entirely when a coronal mass ejection, or CME, slams into them. Past comets have shown dramatic tail disconnections during these events. For 3I slash Atlas, the combination of a carbon dioxide rich coma, fine dust, and long ecliptic immersion sets the stage for unusually strong electromagnetic effects. Scientists are watching for sudden shifts in tail direction, brightness surges, or even plasma structures that look almost organized. All of this is pure physics, no intelligence required. Yet the spectacle could be unlike anything we have seen from a visitor beyond the stars. October brings a lineup of cosmic milestones that has both scientists and the public on edge. On the first, 3i slash Atlas sweeps past Mars, close enough for mission planners to scramble for last-minute observation slots, hoping to catch any signs of outgassing or tail changes. Just three weeks later, from October 21st to 23rd, the object passes into superior conjunction. For a brief window, it lines up almost perfectly with the sun as seen from Earth, buried deep in the glare. This is the moment when solar physicists and comet watchers alike are glued to SOHO and stereo feeds, watching for any hint of a tail disconnection or plasma flare-up as the comet threads through the sun's magnetic fields. Then, right at the end of the month, October 29th and 30th, 3i slash Atlas reaches perihelion, its closest point to the Sun. The timing couldn't be better or stranger. Solar activity is peaking, and the comet's path keeps it tangled in the most turbulent regions of the heliosphere. All this has fueled a wave of speculation online. Viral posts claim the comet is more than just a rock. Some even call it a superintelligence, or suggest it could influence the Sun. Avi Loeb, who's known for keeping an open mind about cosmic mysteries, reminds everyone that extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. So far, every plasma pattern and tail twist fits what we know from physics. No signals, no encoded messages, just the wild choreography of dust and charged particles. Meanwhile, Suzanne Faltzner's work on interstellar seeding offers a different kind of intrigue maybe objects like this really do play a hidden role in building planets. Not by design, but by chance. As October unfolds, the world is watching, caught between the thrill of the unknown and the discipline of the scientific method. SOHO and STEREO are the workhorses for solar system monitoring, especially when comets get close to the sun. During late October, their coronagraphs will be watching the region around the sun almost non-stop. If 3i slash Atlas brightens enough, these feeds might catch its tail reacting to solar storms or even show a dramatic tail disconnection event. Both missions post images to public portals within hours, so anyone can follow along in near real time. For the Mars Close Approach, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Team has scheduled a narrow observation window. 
If geometry and safety checks line up, we could see high-resolution images of 3i slash Atlas passing near Mars, something that's only possible a handful of times in any decade. These spacecraft are our best bet for catching the action as it happens. Anyone with a telescope or even just curiosity can help track 3i slash Atlas as it sweeps through the inner solar system. The Comet Observers Database, COBS, lets amateur astronomers upload brightness estimates, tail measurements, and even sketches. These crowdsourced reports fill gaps between professional observations, especially when the comet is too close to the sun for big telescopes. The Sky Live compiles finder charts, real-time positions, and community light curves, making it easy to follow changes night by night. Data challenges pop up on platforms like Zooniverse, where volunteers help classify features or flag outbursts in public archives. Every observation, no matter how small, feeds into the global effort to understand this interstellar visitor. When it comes to 3i slash Atlas, the front row isn't reserved for experts. It's open to anyone watching the sky. On July 1st, 2025, 3, I slash Atlas became the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected, with a hyperbolic orbit only five degrees off the ecliptic. Unlike its predecessors, it travels almost in the same plane as the planets, allowing for a rare, extended interaction with our solar environment. Hubble and Gemini images show a nucleus less than a kilometer wide and a carbon dioxide-rich coma spanning hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Despite speculation about intelligence, no peer-reviewed evidence supports that claim. Plasma can create complex patterns without consciousness. What remains unknown is the precise origin of 3i slash Atlas and whether interstellar objects like this help seed young planetary systems, as some theories suggest. As October approaches, telescopes and spacecraft will track its close approach to Mars, its perihelion and its evolving tail. The facts so far show a unique visitor offering an unparalleled scientific opportunity. Claims must defer to data, but this encounter will expand what we know about material from beyond our solar system.